Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and uh, yeah it's been about three weeks and I'm really sorry about that because I've been on holiday. I was in America in Disneyland and it was so much fun. So as you have, if you haven't already gathered, this video is going to be on a haul but it's going to be on a haul of Disney, Universal and maybe a few other things in there because I didn't really buy enough from Universal or anywhere else to do our own haul on that so I'm just going to show everything together and I think I've got everything here but I'm not sure so some things might be missing um, so I'm just going to get stuck into it and as you can see the first thing on my head is the traditional Minnie Mouse ears because everyone's got to have a pair of these but I have a bit of a regret because I wanted the Maleficent ones and I should have got the Maleficent ones but I didn't I actually have no explanation as to why I didn't get the Maleficent ones. Alice in Wonderland has been quite a thing at the minute and the merchandise in Disney is quite, you know, it's really nice. Um, so I've got quite, you know, not quite a few bits but some really nice things from that, that part. It's a mug, obviously, as you can see, but three sort of like teacups put together to make one interesting funky looking mug that's not straight and there's quotes on it like curiouser and curiouser drink your tea or off with your head I'm late you know all the cute quotes and drink me is on the top there and the label it's not focusing why is it not focusing oh I've just realized that there's the little flowers you know the, do I, the, that one the kind of the little flowers that sing to her there on the middle cut that's kind of cute but yeah, in the end it was a choice between a Donald Duck mug or this mug. So I ended up getting it because I really liked it and there was, you know, there's no reason why I shouldn't. <coughs> oh. Next thing I got from the Alice in Wonderland section was for my sister. Because I didn't really know what to get her and I know she loves tea. So it's this little box of different flavours with all the different characters on. This box was actually cheaper than getting the tin like there's a t three tins um, with eight tea bags in whereas you get six boxes with eight tea bags in each box so effectively you're getting more in this one than the other one um, the flavours are mango, Mad Hatter uh, Barty Blend, Blueberry, uh, Lemon Honey Chamomile, Earl Grey and Pomegranate so I thought that was a nice little gift for her and I hope she likes it. Oops. Excuse me. <coughs> I'm dying. The next thing is for me and I loved it, fell in love with it straight away and it was actually quite a reasonable price. So yeah, straight away I got it. I did see it a couple of times because I think once you've been into one of the Disney stores, you've kind of repeating all of the merchandise and you might find one or two new things. So this was one of those things that are everywhere but I love it it's Alice in Wonderland bag with the cat on and it's got Curiouser and Curiouser on and this cat kind of reminds me oh what's he called it's the Cheshire cat yeah this Cheshire cat reminds me of my little Lily so it was straight away one of these I just loved it absolutely loved it and I think it was only about $35 so that was a steal the next thing I purchased, I kind of looked and then it was just randomly thinking, yeah, you know what, I want... What's happened? Um, yeah, the next thing I purchased was... Something I hadn't really thought about getting, but then I saw something in the hotel with them on and then I thought, yeah, I know, I need those. Uh, it was really stupid, but I thought that they were nice. And they are my Mickey Mouse slippers. Oh, uh. Yeah, there's not much to really say about these, they're super soft and they make your feet look like you've got Mickey shoes on, that's all there is to it really, but they're just they're so soft. <clears throat> yeah, moving on. Hmm. Next thing I got was for my nan. I got, I got each of my family members something, but obviously I've given them away. So my mum had a Winnie the Pooh Pandora charm and my dad had a Back to the Future, the car, whatever the car is, but you know, you're going to kill me for that. 
My nan had this. I thought this was beautiful. It was in a Christmas shop downtown Disney, but I think you could get it in a couple of other Disney shops as well. I just everything about it is it's just I think one of the prettiest decorations in the store anyway, but that is my personal opinion. And that was only twenty two ninety nine, so that's not including tax. So if you go to Disney and you're not from America and you're not used to the no tax thing, remember it because when you get to the till with the right amount of money, which is what I did a lot of the time, and then they charge you extra how many millions for the tax. So yeah, but it's glass. I think it's glass. Yeah, it's kind of yeah glass with some sequins inside with glitter on and it's just absolutely beautiful so I got that for my Nana my Nana's kind of one of these people who like up to date things um, and definitely anything with leopard print or zebra print on it so that seemed perfect the next thing that I got was some poly Hollywood Studios, and that is for my brother. This was on the Aerosmith Rock and Roller Coaster. I think that's right. But these are um, hit drumsticks, and they have the I don't know if it's focusing on them or not, but they have the car and the things and the funky patterns on them, and the rock and roller coaster. Yeah, so I thought these were really kind of cool. So we've got guitars on them, and so yeah, he's got a new pair of drumsticks. The next two things I got from Epcot, I didn't really get anything from there because I wasn't as I used to love Epcot and I thought it was a bit overrated this time. So yeah, but I'd see on another YouTube video of Disney stuff. Uh, yeah, I went there. I had to watch hundreds of YouTube videos to see what was at Disney, and I just love watching everybody's halls on Disney and I'm kind of sad like that so I already knew that this thing was there and I wasn't sure if it was still there if that makes sense because this video was from years ago but it was actually one of the cheapest things in the store and I was so happy so I got it and that is the Hello Kitty Florida dressed in a little alligator yeah I was so happy when I found this and it really wasn't that much either the other Hello Kitties were quite expensive and I thought she was quite good for her money so I got her straight away. It was from the Japanese section in Epcot and I was going to get some snacks and things but I just didn't in the end because it was crowded and I was just wanting to get out of there straight away. But yeah, I got my Hello Kitty and I'm super happy about that. I also got from the Chinese section this little ca Oh no! This little cat, it's for my cousin. Yeah, I thought it was really cute. They had them in all different colours, but black's her favourite colour shade thing. So, yeah, this is for her. I thought it was really sweet. It's got a little flowery butt. That's kind of cute. So, yes. <clears throat> uh, the next place we went to... Oh, we did go. We went to downtown Disney again, and I got some Lego. Lego for Tom because he's obsessed with Lego and I just got him a little box just to go with his present even though you can get it in the UK just got him some Lego I also got this shot glass for Tom it's a Mr Grumpy one and it says this is my happy face because I feel like this is what he looks like all the time um, especially when he drinks so it was kind of appropriate. I also got him a guitar pick from the Aerosmith roller coaster, and I can't, don't know where it is, so it's gonna have to be. On. I think that's everything for Disney. So now we move on to Universal and a few extra other bits, okay? So, from Universal, obviously. Everybody knows there's Harry Potter World, and it's actually quite expensive in Harry Potter World, so. I know Tom would have wanted a gift, he's already seen this by the way, so it's fine, but I'll leave the paper in there because you might be able to see, but I got him this, and it's got all of the houses, it's got like Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Slytherin, and Ravenclaw all written around the edges, but it's in lighter writing, so if I take this out you might be able to see, but I think it's mainly focusing on my face, so I can't tell. 
but yeah, I thought it was really nice. It's also got the thingy for Universal's on the back. So yeah, I thought that was... The other option was things like wands, and but we're going to Harry Potter World in London, so he can use his own wand there. I also got from Universal Studios Bertie bought every flavour of beans because if the bean boozle challenge wasn't enough for me I thought I'd go and buy something equally as gross and actually to be honest there's a lot of yellows in there and red so I'm hoping there's a mixture of flavours however keep an eye out for that video because it's gonna come clearly quite soon next thing it's kind of food items gonna be I think mainly from Clearwater because we did a little trip down to there for the last four days just for a break and it was really nice we have excuse me if you haven't been to Clearwater go because the beaches and sands and things are white and it's like flower and it's but it was too hot so yeah anyway I got this taffy um, Clearwater obviously with the postcard this I've tried some of these I've tried most of the foods already because I'm a pig but these are actually really good. I wasn't really keen on the chocolate one, but the rest of them are really, really good. So if you haven't tried uh, biggies, try them. I also got bottle caps, as you can see I've opened these as well. Bottle caps, because I haven't really tried these before. I'm not sure what I think of these. They're okay if you have one or two, but not if you eat them excessive amounts, because that was a mistake. I also got these... Combo's baked cheese pretzel snacks and I got them in chocolate and you can see I've been sucking away at these but these are so good. I tried these whilst I was in America. I haven't tried these and these ones are by far better but they're chocolatey so that was that was a given. Jelly beans. I got the ice cream mix. And I got the new Star Wars mix, and if you can see, they're all shiny. That's why I was excited. They're actually quite cool flavors. Things like sparkling blueberry grape soda, island punch. I think they're basically main normal um, flavors, but they're sparkly. So that was I was an easy target for that. I missed a few items out on the haul and I shall show you them now. This was from Disney Parks Magic Kingdom and it was my Disney Pandora charm and I'll just quickly show you because I usually get an eel bear wherever I go I got an eel Pandora charm instead and I'm so happy with it. I've wanted a Disney charm for my handle bracelet for ages and I didn't know they did them until I went to Disney so <clears throat> I was happy and I got some of these old shot glasses because I've stopped I've actually stopped drinking I feel like continuing my shot glass collection is essential for if I ever change my mind so this is my first shot glass from Clearwater I thought it was really pretty and interesting shape Dolphins on it. My second shot glass in clear water with palm trees on it. And my final shot glass was from Universal Studios. I also got a top from this section, but I can't find it, so no, I can't include that in the haul. But from Jurassic World, I got this awesome shot glass. There's not much more I can say about it than it's frigging cool, so it's actually possibly one of the best shot glasses I've seen. It's just a dinosaur, anything dinosaur related is kind of cool. Anyway, I know this descriptions of all the things and items that I've purchased from Disney is pretty terrible, but I'm not good at doing that, so I am very sorry if this video was boring and you hated it. But if you did, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because that would help me out and also give me motivation to continue doing these terrible description videos. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. And I am going to upload soon some videos of the actual holiday itself, hopefully. If 
the videos are good quality I haven't really checked back I've not long got home and I've been extremely jet lagged I'm not sure why but I have so I've slept for the last two days but um, other than that yeah um, it's nice to actually make a video and be back on YouTube uh, two weeks is two, I think it's three weeks now is actually quite a long time so Please give me some of the old thumbs up, likes, comments, things like that. That would be really appreciated. Appreciative. Appreciated. Yeah, that one. So, yes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.